Vampire Survivors. Look, we've got a couple of things left to finish, and we're going to do this in style, hopefully. We have four secrets left. Today's goal is to complete this one. The most adverse fate in Green Acres run off the edge of the world. Now, through your hints, I think I've got an idea of what we need to do here. Uh, but I'm going to take out... Where is he? We're going to take out Mortachio because we have that anima thing. And then you guys had pointed out I need to get him to like a high level and something happens. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, how would I ever know this stuff? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. That's the problem. Okay. I wouldn't know. Green Acres. I better confirm because if I go to the wrong place. Yeah, Green Acres. Could you imagine? It could happen. Okay, Green Acres. I need to have Hyper and Hurries on. And I believe that's it. And I need to fa fall off the edge of the world. I think we're just going to take an easy little uh, beginning start here. And let's... Yeah, let's begin. Oh, man. I didn't realize his bones did, like, all that bouncing off the edges there. It's always just completely bonkers. Now... Let's do... Okay, so for this run, what do we want to do? I'm going to pick what I feel are my least picked things in the past, like, 20 episodes or so, okay? So something like the lightning ring. Like, I'm never picking that. And I'm getting absolutely owned by these skulls. We used to pick that a lot, okay? We used to pick it a lot. Axe we pick a lot. Garlic we used to pick all the time. I think we go four seasons here because it's kind of still new. Oh, an early Canda box. Oh, we never pick Santa Water. Just kidding. JK. JK. Okay, this is going to get um, rough. I can tell you that much. I can't really take advantage of the bouncing. Let's do bones. Because they just bounce off the off the edges, right? But kind of hard for me to make that happen at the moment. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually take some regen here because this is already sweaty. I need to basically head southwest. That's what I know. So I'll go basically diagonal from middle, and I hope that works for me. Oh, okay. Okay. I need something nasty here. Um, we definitely have done the damaging zones recently. Let's actually take the Toronas here just to get our offense going a bit. Oh my god. This is not the build right now. This is not it, you guys. That revive's going to be gone ASAP here. I need something spicy. Um, lightning ring. I need, I need something to protect around me. I probably should have taken... I probably should have taken the, um... Well, what? What was it even? I'm taking the Pumarola here. Axes is what I was thinking of. But if I could get Bibles or something, I'd be happy. Ooh, Tome looks great here. Let's go. Evolutions-wise, there's nothing I can do for his bones. And what's the Four Seasons one? Candelabra and Spinach. Okay, so I need Candelabra, Spinach, Duplicator. Those are basically my last ones. And then I should go with that Healing Wand, or I should go Garlic here just to, you know, have some evolutions. Okay, four seasons.
This is rough because I can't just farm. It's not working. Let's go bones here. Oh, chicken. You guys remember bones or no bones days? That was peak internet. Ooh, Bibles. Yeah, I'll take that. So, uh... <laughs> the problem with this is the evolution aspect. But I'm gonna do it anyways. So now I need the spell book. And my whole plan is basically... Out the window here. Or is it? Hold on. Yeah, because I kind of... I should get the duplicator. Um, so I go spell book... And I go duplicator, and then I go, I don't evolve the four seasons, spellbook, duplicator, and get something for the Pumarola. Spellbook, duplicator, something for the Pumarola. Spellbook, duplicator, something for the Pumarola. Spellbook, duplicator, something for the Pumarola. Okay, let's go lightning ring, I guess. Interesting. The, um, this could actually help us here. But I, I needed something for the Pumarola. Reroll. Reroll. Spellbinder. Okay, we're, we're slowly doing this. Things are kind of happening here. Uh, let's go lightning ring. I'll take Pumarola here. Let's do bones. I guess we take the garlic. I need something for the Pumarola. The, the other thing we could do is go for the spinach and the candelabra and ignore the duplicator. But I like, I just like the duplicator. And like the whole idea here was I was going to pick things I wasn't picking. And we haven't done the duplicator lightning ring for a very long time. Uh, that said, I'm going to take garlic here. Let's go bones. Okay. Bible, 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 Bible. We were in uh, New York for a few days, and uh, I was playing. I was I was out there playing Redfall, a new game by uh, Bethesda and Arcane, and kind of like Dishonored but uh, multiplayer. Had a really good time until our flight home got canceled at midnight the night before we were leaving. Now it was scheduled for like 8 p.m. or 7:30, something like that got canceled and uh the media group that flew us out there got it handled within like 40 minutes and had me on a six what time was it it was like 6 30 a.m the next day but we only found out it was canceled at like midnight so we slept for like two hours and uh made the flight and it was great lost a day in the in the city but you know what that happens we could have tried to get out like 9 p.m. the next day after our other flight that was canceled. But I was like, if they canceled that one, there's a pretty decent chance they'll cancel the other one. So, decided not to. Anyways, great story. Wasn't that a great story? You guys probably loved that. Okay. Where is the duplicator? Bones. Lightning ring. I'm gonna just tank here. I don't want to really. But I don't have a choice. I'm gonna die. Oh my god.
Probably. I need something to power spike, like, right away here. These are not those. Um, what am I doing for my last weapon? It's kind of open-ended still. Why don't I take Victory Sword? Because that goes with Tarona's. And then we go into the galaxy situation, right? And I get some more close-range damage, which seems uh, pretty decent here. I saw a couple people in the comments uh, suggesting to do like a no movement run, which I thought was kind of a cool idea. I'm not exactly sure the type of build that I would need there. I'm going to take health recovery because I'm getting my ass beat. I thought, was I going to say that? And then I did. And here we are. Everyone's still alive. Everyone's fine. Okay, lightning. Okay, garlic. Okay, lightning. Okay, lightning. Bible. Bible. Ooh. Both. Let's go uh, Toronas, probably. Let's go Tome. Tome. Okay, that was actually massive. We're already level 40 here. Now, is my... I feel like... Yeah, okay, so the clock speed is doubled. It's not half the time, so that still goes to 30, I think. Let's go. Love that. Love that. Toronas. I'm gonna use that to clean up all these seahorses. Eat this poultry. Okay, Bible. I think this dropped a long time ago, but. Nice. Sick. That's awesome. Okay, I need a duplicator. Like, is that so much to ask? What do we need here? I don't have any of those. No. Don't like that. I mean, I guess. Let's re-roll here. Don't need that. Counterparts, no. I could go double healing. Because eventually we'll get the uh, garlic upgraded too. Oh, this could impact us pretty well, too, though. The Tragic Princess. Reduced when moving. I mean, we're moving. Let's take that. It's not something I pick very often, so... Okay, Victory Sword. Yeah, I'm entering stompy territory here, so this is nice. Four seasons. Uh, the crown. I feel like it's a bit late to go crown here. But I also don't know what I'm going to pick. Probably just spinach, right? We have Tarona's for the sword. Oh, I need duplicator still. Like, where are you? Wow. Okay, where am I here? I'm still in the middle. Let's go Victory Sword. Uh, four Seasons. Oh, I could still pick something else, too. I don't know what would be the most beneficial for this group. Duplicator and probably spinach then.
Let's do garlic so I can get an evolution going. There's spinach. And I kind of need to start heading out of here. The problem is I need somebody to drop like a big fat attract orb or something. Thanks. Thanks, game. Four seasons here. That duplicator will be mine. Okay? Garlic. You know what? There is a chest there. I thought so. Okay, Toronas. Toronas. Uh, garlic. Toronas. Four Seasons. There it is. Okay, so that's gonna help. Steals hearts. Power increases when recovering HP. Exactly what I need. Steal hearts. You're gonna be recovering a lot. Okay, Toronas. Now, I don't want to pick up a chest here. I want to level naturally if I can. Let me do that. See if Toronas pop so I can banish it. It didn't. Uh, spinach? Okay, let's banish... Coronas. Still need a duplicator. Just saying. Spellbinder there. Come on, baby. Alrighty then. Is it just me? Have there been like a billion chests dropped? Like, I feel like this is astronomically high. Uh, Spellbinder is good. I feel like for each of these remaining secrets, I want to kind of pick something else as something new or a challenge that if I'm not able to find the secret for some reason, then at least we got to try something new. So for this guy, I don't know what level he needs to hit, but something has not happened yet. Mm, spellbinder. And I'm super slow farming here, obviously. Maybe what I'll do is try to get, like, a level or two in an area and then move on. Maybe it'll give us some of the red gems combined from the ones we missed. And maybe there aren't enough to even get one. Gotta make sure I'm not leaving anything behind that's getting smacked that I'm missing. Hello. Oh my god. Thank you. And the candy box. You don't say. Alright, so now what would I want here? Um... The Flames of Misspell, we don't know what the evolution is. I mean, there's a possibility there. I guess. Sure. 
Somebody did say that my theory was correct, is that it wasn't any of the items on the second page. I feel like we're not even close to leveling him the way he would need to be. Because this is pretty below average. There we go. Let's go duplicator. Flames. 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 Flames, flames, flames. Random always. Holy crap. Oh my god, whoa! Whoa! What? So it must be... Okay, well, somewhere between 65 and 82. Oh, damn! Oh, <laughs> that's so cool! That's amazing! I wonder what his, like... Thing is. Just badass? Oh, I'll just take the Saraband here. Now, what I'm worried about is I still haven't found where I need to be going. Southwest so far has proved fruitless. But we're coming up to the, like, the end of the little markers, so maybe... Take one of these. Where is it? I can't see the cross. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. We're going from level 83 to what? I'm as southwest as we get, it seems. Now, this could be one of those things where, like, oh, you need to have base characters or whatever. I wonder if that's a thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Things are happening. What the... Heck. There's items in there. There's items in them, they're heels. Y'all see that? What is actually happening, though? I don't even, I mean, we got the U1 sound, but I don't know why. And I get an advanced weapon. What could I pick that would anger you guys the most? What would just really, what would, what would you, what would the commenters be like, dude, what? Why? Why would you pick that? That was the one. Doesn't matter. I'm unstoppable. Literally impossible to die.
We've entered the hippie commune section of today's episode. It's always a good time. I think our next challenge is going to be the flowers in the bone zone. And, uh, I'm, I was there like four times and we never found them. So I'll probably just have to look up the location and try to get there. But we'll try and take, a. Uh, We'll try and take somebody that we've never used before. Thank you, bye-bye. I don't think I'll be able to kill the Reaper. The crazier things have happened. So what is his thing? Like, I don't even notice anything special. Maybe he's throwing more bones or his bones are bigger or something. That was, that was not fair, but okay. Guys, we like double won there. That was actually sick. We double won. Anima of Morta, 19.7 damage. So he's doing something right. I don't know what he's doing, but 19.7k DPS in four minutes time is pretty impressive stuff. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. That gives you a reason to pick him, I guess. Um, neat. We got it. Unlocked missing N. What the... Missing N. 353,330. What the frick? These guys are so expensive. Okay, I need some cashola, man. I need some cash. Big time. Okay, as I said, our next run is going to be find the only place where the flowers bloom in the bone zone. Uh, I'm not going to pick this, but if I look at the bone zone, no item drops. Enemies grow stronger over time. I need to pick, like, a badass build for this. And we'll probably take someone like... I don't know. This guy? Scorjoni? Did we try him yet? We tried the dragon. Uh, Scorjoni, I don't think we've taken. I feel like... Maybe... Did we take, uh, oh, did we take Megalo Sayuto? I don't think so. This could be fun because he gains one might every level as well. And uh, that has, like, no upper limit. So he could just be slamming. Now, his curse and his greed are at 100%, but he has decent health, five armor, already starts at 85 might. So um, maybe I'll just try to do, like, a might build and see how that goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.